So instead of having a Disney animated film to be a bunch of shorts, or the first, and then another one just be about two of them, um, and all that stuff, Disney finally basically decided to make a second animated film about a princess. I mean, well, the well, his tenth or twelfth animated film about a princess, and the second Disney princess to, to ever come out, Cinderella. Uh, and of all, and of all, and of all of them, this one is one is actually the, um, this is actually Walt Disney's favorite fairy tale because, or and I'm and I'm not kidding. I found out from a history, or that Cinderella was actually his uh, his uh, favorite fairy tale because he was basically like that when he was young, on like the like his lifestyle was going, and stuff. So, so yeah, and I gotta be very honest. This film, I honestly really like it. Like, I actually love this one more than Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs because there's a lot of really great things in it. I mean, you could definitely tell that Snow White was a groundbreaking film with great animation, a great, uh, some creepy looking visual, as well, some creepy imagery, some cool, some nice really looking backgrounds, and a lot of likable characters as well. So, you basically know the story of Cinderella. She's a base. Well, she had a father when she was young, but then he dies. Always oh, has an evil stepmother with two evil stepsisters, like they you know this Lady Tremaine and her stepdaughters and, and uh, Anastasia and Drizella. Or right, but then one years go by and then Cinderella is having a, a lot of our animal friends like Bruto, her dog, all gonna t and her mice friends like Jock and Gus, for example. Oh, and this is I like how everything was like born and stuff. So anyway, oh, she's basically like the maid in the entire house. Oh, since the mother takes the stepmother takes control of the entire mansion anyway. Oh, yeah, and Cinderella has to do chores every other day. Oh, yeah, and they don't treat her very well. Oh, well, that's going on. There's a diff kind of a subplot on about the grand, du no, about the king and the grand duke, or oh, about to make a ball. All oh, for the uh, the prince's return, oh, and, and on he uh, which is probably one of the funniest things in the movie, along with Jock and Gus. Oh, so they basically try. I uh, sent invitations to all around the kingdom for uh, for them to come in uh, to the uh, to attend the uh, ball. Uh, and it says by royal well command, every eligible maiden maiden is to attend. On oh, sorry, I got a spit right there. Oh, another one. So anyway, oh yeah. Um, well, so basically, Cinderella wants to go, and her stepmother or oh, was like, if you could find something suitable to wear, get all her work done. Uh, but then the um, the mice friends was figured out that Cinderella might not be going to the ball, but they f actually finally decided uh, that they should help him out, or help her out actually, or to make a new dress. And of course, you all read the book. Or she gets her dress gets ripped off. Or the fairy godmother comes down, grants her a wish, or sets her, sets her down to the ball. Then at midnight, or the spell will be broken and everything will be back together, or we'll be back to normal and stuff. Oh, then you probably know the rest of the story as well. What I love about this movie is that the main character herself, Cinderella, is actually a lot better. You actually see a lot of patience, and I also really like how all that she has a little bit of her limits. Much more like how uh, Snow White was. I mean, to be fair, it was the first animated Disney film. <laughs> well, sorry. But uh, Cinderella definitely had uh, like a really good range of emotions, and on... And even though I definitely already said about all the uh, last night's video, or about Ichabod and Mr. Toad, I know it was, I know I said I was going to um, release another video a few hours after, but I was kind of a little busy, oh, yeah, and I was really exhausted. So, oh, so now I'm talking about it. So, oh yeah, for Cinderella, I found a lot of patience with this character, and she's and what makes her really lovable is that, or oh, she's strict, or that she can be strict, she can be, or like a kind-hearted person. On, and then, on she will show like some good emotions. That's what I love about the character. Or right. her anim, or the way she like is designed is basically the same design as Katrina, uh, from uh, the Ichabod Crane story in the last film I talked about. So, the other stuff I really love about the film is that the animation is like going like to Fantasia or, or what like what this first Snow White did. Or well, the first uh, animated film did. And, and what I also love about it is that the main villain of the film is great, and her stepsisters are, are kind of enjoyable as well. But my two favorite things about this movie are Jock and Gus, and the King and the Grand Duke. Those two characters are absolutely hilarious. I really love the connection between those two characters. Their comedy is great. 
I had. I love how this. I love how the king, I mean, like in the last third of the film, where um, or when the Grand Duke was like, "Sire, she got away." So, so, so she got away. A peculiar title, but is that what you? She what? All right. After like he calls calm, he goes into a psychopathic maniac. I guess starts swinging his sword around, and then the Grand Duke's like, <gasps> it cracks. It goes into that typical Disney gasp, but I love hearing that on that gasp all the time. Like, Jack and Gus, their voices are pretty funny. I love how Gus is, like, this little coward character. Oh, and I especially love the part where, um, in that... And, uh, where they're trying to get the key for Cinderella. I love how he... They're, like, trying to go up the stairs. But then when they try to get near her room where there's a bunch of other stairs. Or, like, that's, like, almost, like, a million stories high. And he's, like, hey, da, Oh, I always, when I, I remember as a kid, I used to re remember reacting that scene. I I love like, I actually love all like copying movies and stuff. That's what I actually love to do. Oh, cause I, oh, cause it's kind of my thing. Like I just like try, I just try to be like funny, or you know, something. Like I could do some voice acting, but um, but I also really like all the other characters. I really like the fairy godmother. I like the songs in the movie. Like, right, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo is really good. I like. Uh, basically, all of them are really good songs. Well, especially Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. The villain is great, right, like I said. Right, the only problem that I have with it is that the prince does have a few lines of dialogue. Or like, it's barely in the movie for that long. But thank God, in the th other Cinderella movies, he's in there. Right, well, I think he's kind of barely in the second film, but thank God in the third movie, he's in it a lot more, and you get to know him a bit more, and he's and he was great. Right, but I'll get to that. I'll definitely get to that when I get to that. So, overall, Cinderella is a definite great film, all from beginning to end. The characters are very lovable, all aside from the prince, who's also surprisingly forgettable or something, but, but other than that, it does have a good, strong message about being kind and then getting the reward that you deserve. I really like the, um, I think the, uh, the songs are really good, and uh, the animation is very well done, in my opinion. So, uh, and I did like watching it every time when I had it on video cassette. I still have it uh, from the Walt Disney Classics. But so, of course you've seen it, uh, but what have you to think, what did you think about it? Comment below, all in, uh, subscribe to my, my, uh, my YouTube page, and follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and I will see you later on. I'm the Bostonian Critic, and I am setting out. Take care.